Eratosthenes, who was a Greek mathematician and scholar, was most famous for his calculation of the length around the globe. Or in other words, he was the first person to find the circumference of the Earth though he has many other notable accomplishments as well. So Eratosthenes was born in the Greek colony of Cyrene, which is in modern-day Libya, and he lived from 276 BC to 194 BC, which puts him in the same time period as Archimedes, who he was apparently friends with. Now, one of his great accomplishments was inventing geography. And he was able to actually create the first world map, which was based off of his calculation of the length around the globe. And because of these skills and many others, he was made the chief librarian at the Library of Alexandria. And for those of you unfamiliar with that library, it is one of the most famous of the ancient world. But when you look at Eratosthenes' mathematical accomplishments, He's famous for two results, one being finding the circumference around the world, but the other is what's known as the sieve of Eratosthenes. And this sieve is a very simple method that allows you to find prime numbers. And I'll briefly explain how it works. So we start with the first prime number, which is two, and then the idea is to eliminate any multiples of that number. So, for instance, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and so on. Or you can notice, essentially, these entire columns get eliminated. And the next step is to go to the next number that hasn't been crossed out. So 3 would be our next number. And since it hasn't been crossed out, 3 would be a prime number. But the next step is to eliminate any multiples of 3 that have not already been eliminated. So 6, and then 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, and so forth. After eliminating all the multiples of 3 from the list, we go on to the next number that has not been eliminated. So in this case, 5. And again, we'll go through and eliminate any multiples of 5 that have not already been crossed out. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and so forth. And after the number 5, the next open space is 7. So then we'll go through and eliminate all of the multiples of 7. Now, after eliminating the multiples of 7, you move on to the next open space here, which would be 11, and eliminate all the multiples of 11. And you would do the same thing for 13, 17, 19, and so forth. Basically, all of these circled numbers are now prime numbers. And this method, though slow and cumbersome, does work. It's such an effective method that it's still even used today. Now, like I said, besides the sieve of Eratosthenes, his greatest achievement would be his calculation of the circumference of Earth. So let's move on to that in the next video.